Hey YouTube, here again. I'm going to be doing a quick little video on how to use a tech clock and what it's for. We've had requests to make a video on how to make how to use a tech clock and what it's for because a lot of people kind of get the idea and they think it's really cool, but once they actually buy it and get it at home, um, they don't know how to use it or they end up breaking them. We've had somebody break one before because they tried forcing it open. So I guess the first thing I should show you is actually how to open it and how to use it and then I'll go into what you can use it for. So the most the the first and most important thing to do when you're using one of these is to know how to open it and how you open it is there's a little lock right here. If you don't remove the lock you can't open it. I mean I could try and try to open this thing and it's not gonna go anywhere. So there's a lock that you, that you can see right there. This little lever right here is your lock. So what you do is you lift this up you lift it up all the way and you move it out of the way so now you see it so this is your lock now the next thing you have to do is you have to pinch pinch this right up here at the top and you know exactly where you put your thumb and your index finger because there's jimping on the side on either side so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch you're gonna pinch where the jimping's at with your thumb and your index finger and then it'll pop right open so it's really easy to open up once you pinch there so again, you're just going to pinch these two sides together and then you're going to open it up. You're going to pull it apart. So you pinch and you're pulling apart. And there we go. So now it's open. So now from the inside, from inside right here, what you can see is that there's these guides right here. And what these are for is to adjust the width, the width of this, the open space right here. So you can fit, so you can custom sizes to fit any belt that you have. So if you have a really thin, narrow belt, you could just move these guides uh, down to make that fit. Or if you have a really wide belt, you know, you could completely remove those to make it fit. So for instance, I have a rigorous belt right here. So maybe I'm wearing this and I want to attach something to it. So I can size it on the inside to see if it fits. So actually, I'm not sure if you can see this, but this isn't fitting in here. It's it's hitting the bottom right here. So what I can do now is I can actually remove this uh, bottom piece, this bottom guide right here, and I can insert it into the next slot up here. So I'm gonna remove it right now. So you just pinch, or you just put your nail behind it and you pop it up. And now I'm gonna move it up to this topmost space right here. So it's gonna give a little bit more room. So let's see if that makes it work. So I pushed it in. Now let's try this again. So, actually that's perfect. So now the belt's not gonna go anywhere. I can close it and it's gonna close just fine. And the belt doesn't have really any wiggle room. But, let's see, let's say that I'm not wearing a rigorous belt and I have just a regular leather belt that I wear every day and this is actually the one I do use every day. Let's see if it'll fit the same way. So here's the leather belt. Now let's place it on the inside. And let's close it up. There's a lot of wiggle room in there. That's not good. I mean, I couldn't wear this because this would go all over the place. So let's see if we can fix that. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to pinch the sides and just open it. So again, here's, the, here's your little guides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the top guide and I'm going to move it down one space right here. And we'll see if that makes it fit a little bit better. So. I'm going to lift it up, it comes right out, and I'm just going to pop it right back into this bottom insert right there. And if you can see that, that's all that, just that little piece right here is what goes in there. So you push that in, like that. Now let's try this again. So I close it up. A lot less. So this is going to be the size that uh, I would wear if I was using this on my belt because if I went down one more it wouldn't work. So now this is sized to my belt and if I want to change to a different belt I can just resize it and it's really easy. So that's that portion. Now the way you attach it to a, uh, to a sheath like for this 1411 right here is with this grid right here of uh, three by three, and the way it works is you can attach yeah, any screw, any um, combination of screws you want in here as long as it lines up with 
screws on your sheath. And what the cool thing is, we I know for sure that we make all of our sheaths with um, holes that are spaced specifically for molly locks and tech locks. Um, and most other sheath makers probably do the same because it's the easiest way to attach a sheath to your belt, to your backpack, to anything that you really want. So the way we do it is we have Chicago screws and when you order these they come with Chicago screws of their own. So there's, you get a post, the screw, the actual screw, and then you get a rubber and you get multiple of them. So the easiest way to do this in my opinion would be to get your your post to get your post and you put it into one of the into the hole that you're going to use and then what you do after that is you get the rubber and you attach it to the post this way the post is held in place you're not having to worry about holding either one now so they're both held in place the rubber the rubber is what does the magic and now what you can do is you can easily you know line this up with your uh, sheath in any way you want and you're not worrying about holding anything other than the tech lock and your screw so now you just line it up put your screw through and you tighten it on and then you know you do that you repeat that process two three times how depending on how many screws you want to hold on to it and and then you're ready to attach it to whatever you want so that's the easiest way in my opinion how to do it and the nice thing about this is because it is a grid of three by three you can use almost any combination to carry the knife either vertical horizontal if you want it um, at an angle you can if you're left or right handed it doesn't matter you can make it fit you in any way you want for instance um, I carry a skinning knife with me at all the gun shows that I attend and um, we work for Anza so when we're at the Anza booth I carry an Anza knife with me and I carry a skinner that um, that I bought from them with my very tactical coach bag right here so it doesn't have to be any it doesn't have to be let's say a max edition pack or it doesn't have to be some Blackhawk backpack it could be anything that you want and it works with it so here's my coach bag and here's my Anza skinner that I carry with it so I carry this across my body and I have all my stuff in here but I carry my knife right here and it's really it's really nice because it doesn't go anywhere um, and the reason I put it above this buckle is that way when I pull down on it it's not going to go anywhere and then I just push it right back in so that's one way you can carry it um, there are max edition packs that actually have slots for tech locks now and they usually have one slot um, next to the molly straps so they so there are some bags that even have specific areas for it and you can use it again for anything you really want it's just your it's limited by your imagination you can make this fit so many different things and you can attach so many different items to it it doesn't just have to be a knife it could be a holster it could be a flashlight holster you could attach a camera if you made a sheath for a camera and made holes adaptable for this I've even seen um, little leather bags that are that are sized um, in the back with rivets uh, in the same grid pattern as this so you can attach this onto it and you can carry it on your hip if you want and you can put shotgun shells in it or if you're an archer you have your finger tabs and everything else in there so that's just a little video on how these work and what you can do with them it's really just limited by your imagination um, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit thanks for watching